All right, welcome to Life on the Rock. Tonight our guest is Norman Survey and Mark Eames. They are here for Awestruck. It's a new Catholic social hub that they're putting together. They're both from South Africa. They'll be sharing uh, something about the faith in South Africa, their church, but mostly about this great new project to connect people to the new social media and hopefully help us all live the faith in a deeper way and build human community. Yeah. Good to see you, Doug. Good to see you, Father. You know, this uh, social media, social networking um, that we're going to be talking about tonight is so important, especially, you know, for this year of faith that we're entering into. Uh, the Holy Father's designated this coming year, October, uh, starting the year of faith. Um, it's important to promote the faith, right? He's, he's told young people, get out there and evangelize the digital continent. You know, to be there, make it be a presence in that digital world and cyberspace, but to impregnate it with Christian values, right? right with real morality and to use it in a good way. Well, it's not going away, that's right. for sure. I mean, we, what, what we've got, what we see right now, if, uh, you know, our, our Facebook, our Twitter, our internet in general, your cell phones, your iPads, your, you name it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is just, uh, it's all around us and it's only gonna stay. Um, we've got to, we've got to adapt. And we've gotta be involved in this. And more mm -hmm. and more people are getting involved in it. Uh, you know, if you've got talents and abilities and passions out there, your interest in technology and you're, you're good at this kind of stuff, you're young, you're, you're vibrant, or even if you're older and still full of energy and vibrancy, right. um, get involved, yeah. you know? I mean, tons of people are on Facebook. You know, when Facebook, uh, you know, just a while back, uh, went uh, onto the stock market, mm -hmm. and they said it was worth some $750 billion or some enormous number. Uh -huh. Unbelievable. They say one out of 10 people in the world is on Facebook every day. Wow. I mean, it is unreal to consider right. the magnitude of the social media. Right. So we do have to be part of it. We have to be involved in it. We have to bring the gospel to it, through it, because there are so many people that can be reached and touched by it. Yeah, and it's, it's like you said, it's part of our culture because it's part of our humanity. The Pope writes in talking about the social media, he says, when we find ourselves drawn toward other people, when we want to know more about them and make ourselves known to them, we are responding to God's call, a call that is imprinted in our nature as beings created in the image and likeness of God, the God of communication and communion. Mm. So we don't sh shed these things. Now, certainly have to be purified because there's a lot of garbage out there, you know, on the internet and stuff that needs to be purified. And he says, I ask you to introduce into the culture of this new environment of communications and information technology, the values on which you have built your lives. In the early life of the church, the great apostles and their disciples brought the good news of Jesus to the Greek and Roman world. Just as at that time, a fruitful evangelization required that careful attention be given to understand the culture and customs of those pagan peoples so that the truth of the gospel would touch hearts and minds as today. And he calls for this evangelization of the digital continent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a, just a great way yeah. of putting it. And, and, and it's not, when you mentioned that the garbage that's out there, there's also just a lot of senseless, wasted stuff on the yeah. internet. You know, you think of some of the videos on YouTube, you know, there are those that are, that are definitely sinful, but you've got stuff out there that's just, why in the world are we spending time on some of this stuff? Mm -hmm. You know, posting it, um, watching it. Uh, so we should be very careful with, with our use, right. you know, of, of these, the, the, these forms of media that we're not, uh, you know, just kind of falling into whatever, even if it's simply idle or wasted. Right. or senseless, he, ridiculous stuff. He warns about that too in his address to World Communications Day about you know, we shouldn't withdraw us away from our families and our, our mm. friends you know, that we encounter every day. I thought too, Doug, we just mentioned here, you know, about the year of faith, or that, I keep wanting to say fourth faith, I'm not sure it's of faith or fourth faith, but I thought we'd give a little meditation from the UCAT book. Mm. There's a bunch of points here, and we'll just take one tonight. And speaking about faith, from UCAT, it says, faith is knowledge and trust. It has seven characteristics. The first one, faith is a sheer gift of God, which we receive when we fervently ask for it. Simple, simple point, but yeah. certainly to take that, uh, that, take that to prayer. You know, if we had faith and we could pour that on the difficulties and challenges we have in life, you know, Lord, increase my faith so I can face these things, so I can be enlightened to know your will, so I can have the strength to do it. You know, faith is the beginning of this communion with God. You know, it unites us with God, so we pray for that. There's that beautiful line from the Gospels of the Syrophoenician woman who just begs for the scraps from the table, Lord. You know, she's praying for a healing for her daughter who's possessed. Give me scraps from the table, right? 
Uh, increase my faith. I don't deserve it. I'm a sinner. I'm a weak person. Lord, you help me. Right? He makes up for what we lack. And, and it's funny on that one because the Lord actually kind of tests the woman right. in, in his response to her. And she comes back right. with faith saying, right. but even the dogs eat the scraps that right. fall to the floor right. you know, from the master. So, you know, and you're right. Uh, that, that communication with God, that fervent prayer, that deep prayer. And that, that's, it's funny about prayer because it's, it's one of the simplest things and yet one of the most typical things to do. It's simple in the sense that you can be anywhere, anytime, and your heart and mind can be lifted. We, we can just kind of choose, I, I, I choose to communicate with God in, in some right. form interiorly, right? right? And yet, it's so difficult because it's so easy to be distracted by so many things, right. you know, by being on Facebook too often, by the way, sometimes, <laughs> uh, and the television. Uh, not right now, of course. But, um, you know, so, you know, we've got to be careful uh, that we, we don't underestimate the power of, of, of fervent prayer and realizing that faith is a gift. Right. It's not something we can make happen. It's something that has to be, you know, poured into the heart and soul. Right. You, know, and that, you said the key word, because the next point says faith is the supernatural power that is absolutely necessary if we're to attain salvation. Mm -hmm. We can't be saved by our own efforts. We right. need to be saved by faith, hope, and love. That's what unites us to God. And it's a power we have access to in our lives through prayer, the sacraments, through meditation on the scriptures, you know, letting God inform our thinking uh, to change us, to convert our hearts. Right? That's just being poured upon us uh, right. through church, through the church and our sacraments. So we'll be speaking a lot more about faith you know, in these coming months, and, uh, and hopefully we'll all grow together in our faith. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with uh, Mark Eames and Norman Survey speaking about Awestruck. So don't go away. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome to Life on the Rock. Tonight our guest is Norman Survey and Mark Eames. We'll be speaking about Awestruck, this new Catholic social hub. Is that a correct way to say yeah. it? In, th in three words you could sum it up as that really. So we've tried to carve out an online space in which Catholics can connect. I like that theme of like really building a family. You're trying to spread the faith but also very much to foster a real family through this digital technology. The church is massive. We get so caught up in our parish quite often and we think that the parish is the church mm. and yet it is so much bigger than that. We are part of this amazing beautiful global family and yeah we want to try and connect people together, bring them together and really share the best of what the internet has to offer. Well, well, we, we speak about um, a, a global um, you know virtual parish when, when we're speaking about um, about Awestruck. I think the, the idea is really to, to establish um, a niche Catholic social network. Um, but it's also much more than that because the social network is just one part of it. Mm. Um, and we'll get into some of the, the features of the site. Um, okay. Let's talk about your accents. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> South Africa. South what, Africa. What accent? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <an> accent. <laughs> and, and more specifically, I'm from Cape Town. Cape Town. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Just as specifically, I'm from Cape Town. Too. <laughs> <laughs> now your country was just showcased in the World Cup not that long ago, yeah, and yeah. that was a 20, 2010. 2010. Yeah. And that was very successful for the country. And yeah. It was a, it was a great moment for South Africa. It brought mm -hmm. South Africans together, and I think it gave um, people around the world a new a new image of what South Africa really is. Right. Um, many many people had the idea that you know this was going to be a real challenge for for South Africa to pull this off. Yeah. Um, and we managed to pull it off very well. I think, I think uh, everyone enjoyed it and, and uh, certainly I attended three of the games. It was oh, terrific. Yeah. Oh, really? what, that, is, that is one of the greatest things about sport is that it, it can unite us, right, in so many ways. Mm -hmm. And especially where a place where there's been many tensions. And you've seen that happen in South Africa? Very much so. Yeah. The 2010 World Cup united us in a, in a, in a fantastic way. 
everybody's cars had flags flying off the, off the mirrors and the windows. It was wonderful and we, we kind of all just pulled together. It was a good moment for us. Good common denominator. Kind yeah. Of, everybody could gather a rally cry on. Correct. Did that help to inform your, this new initiative for the hub? Did that kind of inspire you or this was already in the works? <coughs> sure. Well, I, I think uh, very much the inspiration for Austrac has come out of the background um, of the country in which we live, South Africa, which um, tends to be a, a country where, where Catholicism is, is not really a culture um, as much as it would be in Europe or, or even uh, North America, for example. So um, we've got a small minority of Catholics, 7% of the population. 7%. 7%. Um, and we've got a country of about 45 million people, so about 3.5 million um, Cath uh, people in South Africa are Catholic. Right. But I think more than that, society is incredibly secular. So for us, it was difficult to be, it, it is difficult, it's inconvenient to be Catholic in the world for many reasons, for, because of the values that the world holds true, which are not our values as Catholics. Uh, some of the most influential people in the world, say for example on Twitter, so the person with the biggest Twitter follower is Lady Gaga. Really? She has 17.8 million followers in Twitter and she's Catholic. Mm. But her tweets that she talks about are not our values <laughs> at all. They are right. so far removed from right. what is Catholic and she's highly, highly influential. We don't see other great Catholic role models, or certainly not in the society we live. There, there aren't these amazing Catholic figures that we can look up to and say, wow, I want to be just like them. I, wanna, I want to walk the talk, this Catholic life, I want to live it. And so what we were trying to do is to inspire people to do exactly that. Right. Why do you suppose that is? Somebody that from our point of view would have so little to offer in terms of what they're talking about <laughs> has mm. such a following. Have you guys studied that <laughs> phenomena that you're going to try to use for the well, Catholic evangelization? <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we've studied the statistics around there, but uh, yeah, the phenomenon is intriguing. This is like a celebrity culture. Yeah. Right? Well, Father, you, Father's not that far behind. He's got about 15 million followers <laughs> on Twitter. Is that correct, Father? I, I never use it. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Must be somebody else. Maybe it's Father Mitch. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's your Twitter, Father. <laughs> <laughs> I don't tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also sensationalism. Sensationalism uh. sells. I mean, oh. Lady Gaga wore a, a meat dress to a function. I mean, that's, that's out there. Yeah. And I think that, that hooks right. the people's attention. Mm -hmm. People seem to follow mm -hmm. the hype, don't they? That For sure. Just that there's an energy there, even if they haven't discerned whether it's proper or ordered, yeah. <laughs> it's anything good, but there's an energy and that's always intriguing. I like what you're saying. I mean, we need to inject that energy into Catholicism because right. it, yeah, it almost has the image of being staid and boring. How do we make it fun and exciting and yet keep the message? The message must be true to the magisterium, but it must be, it must be interesting and cutting edge and vibrant. Then I, think, right. then I think we're going to capture hearts. Now, before we get into the details of what you all offer, let's talk a little bit more about the present state of affairs. With all this great connectivity, there's also a growing disconnectedness, right, in our sure. culture. Could you all speak to that? Yeah, well, um, certainly in our own country, I mean, at, at Allstruck was actually, uh, you could say, um, grown out of, out of that experience because we are, you know, geographically very separated from the rest of the world in a sense. Um, even technologically, we are, we are, we are quite separated. Um, and the church in South Africa is very Protestant. Um, we're a small minority and we've got a big country. So there's big distances between, you know, the different um, mm -hmm. Catholic, Catholic parishes. So we come out of a small, a small Catholic country. Um, so it was a really an effort in the beginning to try and connect Catholics in South Africa. But then we saw the global potential for it, so we took the site globally. Um, and I think, you know, now that we, we are trying to spread news about the site, I think it definitely has an international significance. Right. You know, and even on a natural level, you can see in the different revolutions in the Middle East now how the social mm -hmm. network has played such a part. What do you all think of that? Yeah, cer cer yeah, certainly with, um, in terms of political, political events, it's helped to rally people around causes. Right. Um, and 
We were fascinated at, at um, you know, this big March for Life that happened in Washington, D.C., such, such an important pro-life event that should normally get a huge uh, exposure in, 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 in media, but doesn't, doesn't get that effect. Mm -hmm. um, the only type of, of, of effect um, that's created is really in, in social networking where people tweet about it, and you'll have it obviously reported on EWTN and, and, and Catholic networks. But outside of that, um, these, these huge events that you know, should be reported on don't. Right. But exactly to your point about these countries where social media has been used to change the political environment, how do we use social media for the good of Catholics? How do we rally behind causes? So Norman's talked about uh, the pro-life rally in Washington. How do we generate great followings of people all around the world for different causes? And of course, we can't be there physically at everything, but you know what, we can pray. Mm -hmm. And we can, we can have this much, yeah, hopefully a much bigger effect if mm -hmm. we really consolidate our, our resources, our, our time, our effort. So what, one of the first um, ideas was to put up a prayer wall specifically for this. So we put up a prayer wall up on, on the social side of, of Awestruck and people can join and they can pray together with others. So you post a prayer request yeah. or actually write a prayer you ask people to say? Yeah. yeah. Right. And then... Uh, well, you know, what's jumping in my mind right now is just the videos. I know you go to the website and uh, you have these different videos listed. And that's a neat way. I mean, with everybody can go out and buy a camera today. You can hold up your cell phone and get a camera. It makes yeah. a big impact, right? This stuff what's, gets caught on cell phone. Uh, and so you can televise the walk for the March for Life, right? Sure. You get Seth DeMore out there, and who is a member. I saw he's yes. a member of your thing. Sure. But... Uh, he can, uh, he can post the footage up and can you talk about, because you, you have a background yeah. in production. Yeah, um, yeah I've, got a, I've got a 17 year background in, in productions and in fact EWTN is running some of these productions at the mm -hmm. moment. Um, but the, the way media has changed uh, recently is, is quite fascinating. So we, we're really trying to reach, um, you know, the average man in the street who's producing these videos. It's crowdsourcing really. So all the members of our community, if they're producing interesting videos which have some relevance to the Catholic community, they can, they can post them. And what we try and do is highlight ones that really give a, a good message. Mm -hmm. so, um, so it's really a, a new method of, of broadcasting. Because the power of social media lies within that community. I mean, it's the community which generates all the content they create the most amazing stuff, and they're at all these places, as you pointed out, around the world. So for us, the challenge is how do we train them? How do we, how do we get them to produce stuff that's of good enough quality so that we can put something, some fantastic stuff together? And that's right. part of our challenge. And the other neat thing, too, is if you get like a local to televise it or someone who's been there a lot, they can really bring a, a good analysis. I mean, they can give an inside yeah. view. I mean, so oftentimes when the secular media covers, especially something religious, mm. it just doesn't capture it. Absolutely. You know, they miss the point so often and yeah. maybe miss even a dramatic story there. Sure. For sure. sure. I, I would love to create, and maybe I'm putting this out here a bit early, but I'd love to create a movie which is, Why Are You Catholic? and get people you know, around the world just to short little inserts on why they're Catholic, what it means to them, and, and put together this amazing collage of what it means to be Catholic and try and put something amazing together. Right. But it's things like that that we, we can do and put together, together with the community. Let me jump back to the cultural question again. What do you think you as South Africans, as Africans, bring to this? What is your, what is your special <laughs> gift, you think, here? Um, th that's an interesting question. I mean, South Africa tends to be um, certainly different to the rest of Africa in, in many respects. Um, so the, the city that we come from is very cosmopolitan, Cape Town. We've got, it's a microcosm of the world in a sense. So we've got extremes of rich and poor living side by side. We've got this uh, very interesting history of racial tension. Um, so, so we, I suppose we're bringing something that um, certainly is Catholic because we, I mean, I'm, I'm a cradle Catholic, Mark's a cradle Catholic, and, um, and there, there is definitely a, a Catholic culture in South Africa, mm. even though it's, a, it's, it's much on a smaller level than, than maybe elsewhere. Um, but yeah, I think we're bringing that, that cultural mix, um, mm. perhaps, and that's maybe something that's unique to us. 
I'd like to think. Norman and I bring a lot of energy and a, <laughs> a lot of excitement, <laughs> and which is not necessarily South African, but it, I suppose it's us. And it's, I don't know if it's too relevant that we are from South Africa. It's perhaps just where we were when this right. idea was born. And we just happen to have the resources and the team and the, the friends and the support around us to enable us to make it happen. But there is a certain ruggedness about, uh, we're going to talk about that. Well, maybe we come back, uh, your coastal countries there <laughs> and the sharks and whatnot there. But uh, So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with Norman Survey and Mark Eames. So don't go away. We'll be back in a minute. Tonight we're talking about Awestruck, which is this new Catholic social hub, an attempt to evangelize the digital continent, as our Holy Father has asked us to do. Um, let's talk about the, and just you know, watching that clip, which is really hip and well done. Um, you know, I always have a sense, you know, that, and it's literally happening. Africa is sending out missionaries, right? In this country, we have so mm. many African priests and things. You just feel like there's a, a restlessness or something that's waiting to really get out. And so I think you guys are part of that. But let's talk about the specific features. Uh, virtual parish, what is that? Yeah, so basically what we've tried to do is um, give groups the ability um, or people the ability to create groups. So if you, for example, represent a parish, you can put your parish up there in the social network. So the social network um, mirrors the idea of Facebook um, very closely. So you can, you can um, have friends, you can invite friends, you can <coughs> have groups, you can create events, you can share all, all types of things, share uh, photos and videos, all of that stuff. Um, so, but within, within that, we're trying to keep it a very Catholic space. So if you've got a Catholic group, you can put your group up there and you can, within that group, you can do all of, all of those features that I've just discussed. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can actually share all of that stuff and you can have open and closed groups. Uh -huh. So um, one, one example that we like to speak about is, uh, recently pre we presented this to our local bishops conference um, who, are, who are looking at, at, at communication at this time. And uh, we presented this very enthusiastically to them um, just a couple of weeks ago. And um, in fact, nine of the bishops after this presentation to a group of 27 bishops um, 
decided to create an awestruck group mm. and they created a closed group and um, that's handling some of their communication at the moment and other bishops are joining so um, it's got a huge potential for within the bigger social uh, niche network uh, to create smaller smaller groups and networks before you go off that funny story, <laughs> I opened my email the other day and I had a friend request from a bishop saying, please be my friend. <laughs> I thought, well, that's something new. <laughs> Maybe you could ask you to be a sheep, be yeah. a shepherd, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, what, that's a neat thing about your site. I, I jumped on and was looking at, you can have a map and you have like these different uh, virtual parishes or even individuals, right, in some sure, cases. Sure. Ma maps are a very yeah. important feature of Awestruck. So you can zoom into a particular area and you can see different Catholic initiatives, um, churches, all sorts of things that are happening in any particular area. So the closer you zoom in, the more you see. Um, and the map is very much created by the community. So it's an interactive experience. So if you, yeah. if you see that your parish is enlisted there and you re represent that parish, you can add your parish to, to the directory and then it gets mapped. We integrate with Google Maps very closely. But mm -hmm. you can add more than just a parish, you can add special events, any event that's happening in the church and invite people to, mm -hmm. to come and be there. You can uh, map any kind of charity, any project that you're running that's Catholic. Uh, just really anything can just be put on there. But there's also two other types of maps which are quite interesting. So one of the maps is many websites or many parishes within Africa do not have the resources to have their own website. So they can list their webs their parish over here and if you click on it, it will give you directions to get to that parish. So no more not being able to go to Mass anymore. It's going, you know, it's a click away. And I gotta say it was powerful just to get on there and see the faces, I guess, you know, the yeah. Facebook mo uh, model. Just the faces of people that are there. Like we saw Seth Demore was on there and some employees here sure. were there and it's just fun to see a, it's amazing how powerful it was just to see a smiling face. Yeah. You know, some, yeah. Maybe a face, a face that's... Uh, did, did you see me on there yet, Father? Are you on there? <laughs> my, my videos are on there? Yeah. <laughs> we're still, still working on it. We're the, smiling, <laughs> the smiling face. We'll yeah. sort it out. Yeah. That, that, that <laughs> element it can be my friend. Yeah, it's a picture of me <laughs> surfing with a great white shirt. <laughs> close by. Oh, I like pictures like yeah. that. <laughs> And you brought that up. Let's talk about that. Now, Mark, you are a surfer, right? <laughs> yeah. You're just not locked into this digital stuff and programming or whatever. Definitely <laughs> not. Yeah, life's bigger than just that. Uh -huh. I moved to Cape Town. I mean, I said I'm from Cape Town. I am from Cape Town, but I moved there about eight years ago. And this was one of the things I have picked up in the last eight years. So I'm not the best surfer, but I find it's an amazing experience to spend time in the sea. It's almost spiritual. You know, there's these amazing big waves. There, there are creatures of the deep, which are, <laughs> this is their home, this is where they live. <laughs> and uh, it, it's just wonderful to be a part of all this moving water, this amazing power, the majesty of sunrises and sunsets. And I spend a lot of time praying, especially when the waves are big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> especially like your surfboard probably looks like a seal from underneath, right? So, yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are known for your great white sharks, mm. the feeding ground. How do you avoid all that stuff that you go swimming in? Uh, you don't. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is their home. They live yeah. there. So, yeah, we're intruding in their space, I suppose. Right. And uh, yeah, I guess every time you go out, there's a chance there are sharks out yeah, there, but. Yeah. Uh, that you could get hit by a car crossing the road. Yeah, so, so I'd <laughs> rather take my chance with the waves. Right. Yeah. And, and your wife and kids are okay with this? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of insurance. <laughs> <laughs> so she's happy as long as she's the beneficiary, right? <laughs> now, yeah. part of the social hub also is to point people to good Catholic resources, yeah. right? And I think that is such a key thing because we were talking about this earlier. There's so much information on the internet. Yeah. Who's got you got to know, it's nice if someone can consolidate what's important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you all try to do that? Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that, that's a very important feature of the site. We try to aggregate good initiatives and websites. Right. So, um, and if you've got a blog that you're running and you're wanting to send traffic to your blog, um, there's so many, there's thousands of good Catholic websites and blogs out there at the moment. So if you've got some great website, you can add the feed for your website to Awestruck. And every time you update your, your blog, it will send a post to Awestruck. So it will keep the community in Awestruck, um, you know, interested and, and informed about the stuff that's happening on your blog. 
And to add what no, to what Norman's saying, there are these amazing sites out there. So for example, Catholic Answers. So fantastic site, amazing resources. We don't want to replicate that at all. You know, we'd rather refer people to the experts, the people who are doing a great job in that field. So, and, and there are many, many, many more other great sites like that. We want to make sure we build up all Catholic sites. How do we, how do we yeah, make it so wonderful? So, you go to, to awestruck.com and it, or awestruckglobal.com. That's it. <laughs> and the blog is there automatically, like, say, if, if Doug writes a blog, he could RSS feed it there and, sure. it, and it would be there. So, so, what happens is, um, if you've connected your blog with Awestruck, mm -hmm. then every time, you, every time you update your own blog, it will send the feed through to our community wall. So our community wall resembles Facebook in a sense. Uh -huh. So you see a constant stream of activities that users um, are adding. You can post statuses, um, photos, events. But then um, if, if you're running your blog, those entries will appear as a link. A link on, okay. yeah. yeah. So you click on the link and uh -huh. then it it, it refers back to the, the source site. So we send the traffic back to the source site right. so, so that um, you know, all of the, the blogs that we're referring to will get extra traffic that way. What do you have for uh, like, like the numbers of hits to your site? I mean, do you, do you know what the numbers are? Do you pay there's, attention? There's an in incremental growth at the moment. So we've, we've literally only been you know, live for, uh, for about 11 weeks or so. Oh, okay. So, okay. Um, but we've had great reception everywhere we've gone. And so, so we, we're seeing this you know, this, this curve on the graph of... Right. Um, I think we've doubled in size since we've come to the States a couple of so weeks back. Yeah. So you're at least 20, 30 people now? Yeah, almost. <laughs> <laughs> so we, so yeah. we've, yeah, we've seen... We've seen Only that. kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, by the grace of God, you know, you know, this, you know, EWTN reaches, you know, so many millions of homes, so hopefully mm -hmm. by the grace of God, you'll, this'll get a lot of people out there taking a look at this and checking this out. Yeah. I mean, this is the sort of thing when they, you, we saw the map just a moment ago, um, I cannot just imagine what St. Paul and some of the great missionaries in the early centuries would have ever thought if, if they'd ever, if someone were to sit down and say, okay, one day there's right. going to be this thing called the internet, <laughs> right? And you're going to have, you know, this and that, and you're going to post from here and there, and the whole world's going to be able to see all of this. It's just, it's an unbelievable sure, thing to sure. consider. And what a powerful responsibility we have to actually make great use of it, such as things like this. Mm. Do you know that there's 2.2 billion people on the internet already? One mm. in three people are already online wow. transacting mm. on the net. It's big. Yeah. yeah that is huge. Yeah. yeah. It's, it sounds like, too, there's a lot of editing involved in putting together a site like this. Do you all have to <coughs> review a lot of these blogs, videos? Sure, and sure. Yeah, well, that's, that's an important um, function. And certainly we're going to, when it comes to, to moderation of the site, uh, we want to make sure that it, you know, people respect that it's a safe, secure environment and, a, and it's a Catholic environment. Right. So um, anyone who signs up on the site has to agree to the terms and conditions, which um, just ask people to, you know, be respectful of each other and respectful of the fact that it's a space uh, that's that's faithful to the magisterial teaching of the ch of the church. And people could like flag something if there was yeah. question, and you guys yeah. would answer that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and if there's questionable material, because Norman and I and our team, there's no ways we can check everything that's going on there. But obviously, the whole community at large can mm -hmm. check all of that stuff. So if there are issues of concern, they're able to flag it and send it through and a moderator will then investigate to make sure that it's right or not and deal with it. You know, an another hope you all have for the site, right, is to present good Catholic role models. Mm. Could you talk about that aspect of, like models of virtue, I think you call sure, it. Sure, right? yes. Um, well, really, you know, there are so many saints um, in the history of the church and I think what, what people today really need is, is examples of virtue in, in a world that, that in many respects has gone crazy. So we, we try and emphasize that, uh, the importance of, of highlighting role models. Um, and, th and that's something we're both passionate about. We would also like to find people in this amazing Catholic family of ours who are those role models and support them and put our efforts in behind them and maybe showcase them through some mm. video productions to put them out there so mm. people can see short videos and go, wow, I want to be just like that. That's great. Do you have some people up there, you know, not Can I Saints, but maybe some people you have heard about or video that really struck you personally? Well, I mean, you mentioned Seth, so yeah. um, he's, he's a good example. I yeah. think he's, he, was, he was very inspiring. Um, 
to think that he, you know, he, he, he did this big road trip mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and he's, in a sense, he's a video missionary and, and we're very keen to identify, you know, people who, who, are, who are very keen to use the media um, mm -hmm. to, to spread the gospel. Uh, a lot of our inspiration actually comes back from, from Vatican Council to Intermorifica um, at a time when, when the internet wasn't even conceived of. Um, and the church, uh, you, you know, spoke about the, the importance of actually using the media to spread the gospel. Um, now, it's become so easy through the internet, so we really want to harness the power of the, of, of the internet as powerfully as we can. And, uh, like, the, the networking creative, creatives, is that, yeah. is there any other aspects there that we haven't covered that... Um so we want to try and network with different people who have creative talent okay. um, and who want to, s say for example, graphic artists, editors, uh, any creative talent that is out there. People who haven't got an avenue to express um, you know, their creative talent. Uh, so they can send in material. And the idea is to try and aggregate this content and produce interesting productions with this content. Do you still have a, you've had 17 years of background of mm -hmm. video production you still have a hand in some of the videos? Yeah, so sure. video production is going to be a key part of it. Yeah. So that, f that really forms a lot of our premium content, which mm -hmm. we're going to start offering. So, um, so video is a very powerful way to spread a message. Um, video is, is, is definitely, the, the, the entire feel of Allstruck is very visual. Maps, video, um, faces of people. Right. It's a very different approach. Right. What would you tell like uh, I, a person out there who wants to have some video shown on Awestruck, what would be the tips you would give them for a good production? Sure. Um, well, uh, that's, that's something that we actually, uh, you know, we, 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 we're speaking about because we want to try and offer crash courses to people on how to make, um, you know, good video. They don't necessarily need to be professionals in the field. There's, you know, a few basic things that they could learn about how to shoot video, how to record sound, and giving them, uh, you know, little skills that they need to do this stuff. And, mm -hmm. and, and that's something we want to develop. All right. So you might have like a, a little flyer, PDF file or something that gives little pointers about yeah, how to yeah, do that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We've got PDFs at the, at the moment uh, promoting Allstruck and, and the vision of Allstruck. But we're certainly going to create resources for, for the community. Um, and stuff like that's definitely a possibility. Is there, s I'm sorry. Go yeah, ahead. no, I need to be one of Norman's first uh, protégés to learn exactly how to take form. Yeah. Because that's <laughs> certainly not my area. So I'm looking forward to these pointers, Norman. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you <laughs> could just tell somebody out there right now, just a couple points, making a video, what, okay. what works today? OK. Well, shooting it from the correct angle um, and making sure that when you capture the sound, you've got to capture it as close to the source as possible. Right. Um, you know, little things like that. Um, those, those are key elements. Obviously, you know, lighting and composition are really important. But, um, but even if you don't get that right, as long as there's a powerful, strong, you know, message and, and scene, right. um, I think that's, that's, that, that's what makes a video. Something that's unique gives a strong message and, um, yeah, something that, that really can inspire. Right. And, you know, I think our Catholic faith is so beautiful in the effect it can have on people. Mm. You can see, like, just on that, the clip you made, you can see it on people's faces, the joy and stuff, the exuberance, you know, that mm. our faith, so oftentimes our faith is presented in the movies as being something artificial mm. or disconnected yeah. from our humanity instead of enlivening it, mm. right? And the video can capture that. Totally. Sure. Yeah. That, that that's just mm -hmm. a story that I could share. In going around South Africa, I've been presenting to a number of parishes. And I, I went to this parish in an industrial township. Half of the church was burnt, so it really wasn't a great looking place. And I walked in there thinking, yeah, this good proud thought, mm, what am I doing here? And I tell you, it was one of the most joyful, beautiful masses I've been to. It was just filled with life and soul. It was wonderful and just so inspiring. So yeah, to get right. that captured would be wonderful. Mm, right. yeah. And Africa is known for that too, right? Yeah. Their, their liturgies yeah. and stuff. So. Yeah, we're seeing great growth in Africa, 3.1% um, growth uh -huh. uh, in Catholicism in sub-Saharan Africa. So while we're seeing a trend um, in the rest of the world, you know, of, of, of Catholics diminishing um, slowly uh, in proportion to global population growth, 
uh, you're seeing this in South Asia and in Sub-Saharan Africa, you are seeing a growth. <coughs> we're seeing a growth in vocations, we're seeing a growth in, in um, adult baptisms. So it's very encouraging. Mm. Well, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back with uh, Norman uh, Survey and Mark Eames. So we'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> back. We're talking about Awestruck Global, this new Catholic social hub. Let's talk about your future plans and hopes. Where do you, where do you, how do you hope to grow? Where do you hope to take it in the, in the coming future? As Norman said, we're brand new. So we have just started. We have so much work to do. We really do. When we get, uh, I mean, we are yeah, from South Africa, currently in the United States. When we get back, one of the big things we have to do is find ways to raise funds. So that, that's a big project on its own. We've got a massive marketing campaign that we've got to kick off. And, and then there are all the site enhancements. I mean, we've just started off with something, something great, I think, and something that's global and scalable and multilingual and all sorts of things. But we've got to take it to the next level. We've got to keep growing it. And we've got so many ideas, you know, from how do we... Oh man, now I've forgotten all my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> We've got lots of ideas. You wrote, you wrote them down somewhere. <laughs> somewhere they exist. Have you made yes. a video of them? <laughs> Certainly, the, the resources is is a, is a top priority to get right. um, you know to get resources listed, um, to get this directory of great Catholic initiatives going on around the world. So that's a priority, and and we want to try and get as many people as possible um, informed about the site and the mm -hmm. fact that we have this service out there. Right. Um, so it's not really, Allstruck is not really about itself, it's more about promoting the efforts of others um, and I think that's, that's perhaps something that's unique to us in that we're not, uh, we just want to get the word out there about all that's good and Catholic. Mm -hmm. So we, we want to provide the space where it's, where it's easy for people to, to tell their story and to communicate what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, Norman mentioned something. Uh, uh, about the, all the good stuff that's out there. There's also a lot of bad stuff, and I think you were talking about mm. some of the bad stuff in the beginning. Uh, and I mentioned Catholic Answers earlier. To get to Catholic Answers, you go to www.catholic. Uh, to get to, if you go to www.catholicanswers, you get to a completely different site, which is a site which is aimed at Catholics, but it gives you completely the wrong answers to the questions mm. you want to ask. And there are lots of those sites out there. There's a site called Just For Catholics, and just for Catholics proudly states in the first line, it says, this site is for all Roman Catholics so that they can learn how to be saved. So, mm. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there which yeah, we don't want to be looking at and getting confused by. So what we're trying to do is make sure that, yeah, we've got mm. the best of the best mm. all in one place would be great. Right. So certainly in, in, in our part of the world, primary evangelization is, a, is an urgent need. And I think, you know, so too the rest of the world. Um, so many people when you say have. Like primary, that means like the new evangelization? Well, basic, basic, basic catechesis. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the, the, the way, the term we refer to it as. Mm -hmm. um, just basic catechesis and, and evangelization is, is really, really important at this stage when so many people aren't getting the, evan uh, you know, the evangelization and catechesis that they need. Um, and, and at a time also when, you know, we don't have as many priests in, in, in the world as we, as we could have. Yeah. So it's, I, I think, to get as many resources out there as possible for, pe for people. So to make it as easy as possible for people to access the material that they need. Right. Now, let me ask you on a personal note, how did you get involved? You were in video production, you've done stuff on the network. Yeah. And what, uh, what gave you this idea? Yeah, well, uh, we had a meeting with, um, in its infancy, and this was a few years back, we had a meeting with Archbishop Chelly, um, Head of Social Communications, um, which then led on to him introducing us to the Holy Father and actually giving the Holy Father some samples of our DVDs. Um, but at that stage, 
we didn't conceive of um, building a social hub. It was more about uh, distribution of video content. Mm. Um, how to get video, interesting videos into the hands of people that are, that are looking for, for videos on, on certain aspects of the faith. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, the idea really grew and evolved. Um, it was very much inspired by the Holy Spirit. Certain people came on board. Um, our Archbishop um, is heavily involved. He's a trustee, in fact. Mm. Um, and the head of the Knights of da Gama, which is um, a brother organization of the Knights of Columbus, mm -hmm. uh, part of the same Knights family. Um, he's also a trustee. So we've got many key people in our part of the world involved. And certainly our trust is going to spread internationally. At this stage, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's still very much a, an African focus, but it's going to become an international uh, trust. So for you personally, was there a, a point of conviction or real inspiration? Yeah, well, um, my, my, my production company is called Metanoia Media. And um, I had that experience in my own life um, about 18 years ago where I had a complete reversion back to Catholicism from having basically, you know, having gone to Mass every weekend but not having grasped anything of what I was, what was happening before me, um, having a metanoia experience. That's a great experience. way to put it. Grasp what was happening before you. Yeah. That's why I look at like, the sacraments. You know, this is being given mm. to us. Calvary is being represented and it's there for the taking, the grasping, the sure. receiving in faith. Sure. And then, um, then I formed this, this media production company. I called it Metanoia Media, which was obviously inspired by my own uh, reversion back to the faith. Right. Um, so that's very much what inspired me. And then the need to get these videos to, to Catholics um, has become quite, you know, quite urgent and quite difficult. Um, so so delivery of this video um, was, was something that we looked at for a long stage. And, and then we conceived of the idea of, of social evangelization, really, this, this, this idea of, of getting video to people in a social environment um, more recently, about a year ago or so. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's when we took it to this new level. Now, Doug, you had a particular question. You, well, I'm waiting for, before Doug, I'm waiting for you to ask me the same question. I you am. Asked we're going to get Doug. Yeah, because well, well, <laughs> you gave us a Segway remark. You said we had difficulties. Right, and I was wondering, um, <laughs> yeah. what were the obstacles that you, that you have faced or are facing? You know, because you know, perseverance is such a key aspect of our faith you know, that you know, when things are, are daunting and overwhelming, and yet we still feel God is inspiring us or calling us to something, we've still got to forge through. Uh, what was it like for you guys? Well, for both Norman and I, we both run businesses back in South Africa. So one of the things was, how do we focus on this thing? Yeah, we've been called to do, we feel we've been called to do, and at the same time run these businesses in a way to generate income to feed the family. So and yours is a surf shop, right? You <laughs> surf <laughs> <and> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine's a management consultancy. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> a little bit different. Yeah, a little bit a little different. Bit of surfing yeah. like that, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. Again. Yeah, I have board meetings at sea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's been a big difficulty. Uh, it's, we've had all sorts of issues from raising any kind of funding. The Knights did provide funding for us to get started, so that's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. We have uh, had so many issues getting the software right and up and running. You know, things work and then suddenly they don't work and there's a bug that just wasn't there and everything's the same as it was. Mm -hmm. Just you typical. Have a, you have a team of well web builders or programmers? Yes, or? we do. Yeah. A team of them back home in South yeah. Africa. How yeah. many? Beaver yeah. away. There's three of them. Three, three of them. Yeah. There are th three designers working with an, another, t another few developers. Beavering away. Beavering away. Yeah, we've got to keep them busy. They must work. They've got to operate. In the a vision of a bunch of little vermin running around yeah. the office, flattened down. But we've had server issues and crashes. We've had uh, a whole lot of stuff, right. which yeah. is just. We, yeah. We've overcome the worst, though. So yeah, we, we're yeah. at the point where, <laughs> where basically we have a product that's really good, and now, now the effort is to really get the word out mm. then. Yeah. 
yeah, talk about it. So perseverance, though, you ever reach those points when you're, you're just shaking your head and you're looking to heaven saying, fine, forget <laughs> it. Maybe it was our idea, not yours. Does that ever cross your mind? <laughs> well, that, 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 that has help, happened quite a few times, okay. I must <laughs> say, in my life. <laughs> yes. So you're giving, well, hope so to, you're giving hope to the audience right now as they say, <laughs> you know, I've had these ideas, too. And, sure. and I say that, too. And, and see? Yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah. It kind of yeah. goes with the territory, yeah. I think, yeah. as Mother, Blessed Mother Teresa would well, say. What we sort of um, measure this success by the amount of hardship that, the, yes. that we encounter, in a, you know, and we've seen that many times when I think things have just gone wrong and perhaps we're not feeling as confident as we should. And then suddenly, you know, it all just comes together. So mm -hmm. well, um, you, know, you, you make a great point there. Yeah, and I think yes. on a very serious note, let's let, we, we can't forget that the greatest thing that ever took place for mankind came about after what appeared to be the greatest failure you know, what it looked to be the greatest failure. Correct. Christ hanging on the cross looked to be the greatest failure ever. He healed, he raised the dead, he cast out demons. Everybody relished in his presence when he came into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. And by the end of the week, he's nailed to a cross. The most brutal way the Romans can put someone to death. It all looked like a complete, utter failure. And yet from that, death is conquered. At, yeah. And salvation is there for us all. And if we can't learn from that, then no matter how dark things get, if we just stay faithful, like Our Lady, staying at the foot of the cross, then we, we, can, we can find a way through sure. the, the Absolutely. tragedies. Yeah. I can't believe the amount, of, the amount of favors that people have done for us, you know, the lengths to which some people have gone just to make this possible. And a lot of them aren't Catholic. Mm. And they've really bent over backwards. So whilst we were talking about evangelization and re-evangelization, yeah, there's this greater pool of people that we're starting to talk to as well and it's ah, that's heartwarming it's mm -hmm. fantastic in creating awestruck you're trying to generate this passion for the faith mm. have you guys seen that have you gotten stories maybe people yeah. can i give you my sure story? i sure. like stories you got about two minutes yeah <laughs> <laughs> christmas this year in christmas christmas is normally this wonderful secular time let's go and shop let's go and buy a whole lot of stuff and mm. let's eat ourselves to death on christmas day and it's wonderful <laughs> that's what christmas is for a lot of people and a lot of people are saying hey i don't need this christianity to have christmas that's my christmas is my christmas whichever but for me, on Awestruck, we had a very small community and it was so spiritual. It was, everyone was talking about the love of Jesus Christ. It was, it was nurturing and it was inspiring. It was wonderful. And I'm getting goosebumps thinking about, mm -hmm. thinking about it. And this was probably one of the most blessed Christmases I've had just because of that. It was wonderful. I think that's an excellent point too. Sometimes in the media, we just hear from pundits, experts. But everybody, especially when it comes to the faith, has their own experience that they can bring insights about Christmas or some event that can be such nurturing, right, for the whole group, yeah. the whole community. Absolutely. Well, that's very much the idea of Allstruck, to, um, to give people the freedom to express and, and then also to share and learn from others. Right. Um, that's why we thought the social, the social aspect is, is, a, is a very important part of the site. We've got about a minute left. You want to give the details, where the web address, or sure. anything that they need to know? Yeah, mm -hmm. awestruckglobal.com. Um, Did you want me to say that? That's, that's the way. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you can find us. So yeah. awestruckglobal.com. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. you can go and, and become a member and sign sure. up, so to speak. Sign up, yeah. sign up for free. It's all free. Yeah. 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 And invite and all your friends. And then if you can't sign up, go tell everyone about it. Yeah, right, right. I think the experience is richer um, when you invite friends because yeah. then the f your friends can share that experience with you. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's been great having you on. We'll keep you in our prayers and keep track to your progress. Thank you. Well, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Yeah. May our Heavenly Father shine His face upon you and give you His peace. May our God bless you, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. We'll see you next week. <laughs>